Hi, welcome to my channel. So we have a new update for Stardew Valley 1.5 and in that update we have a new farm, the Breach Farm. And we also have this new option for advanced game options where you can remix community centers, remix mines, guarantee your one completable community center so that the red cabbage seed will appear in the um, merchant, traveling merchant. Okay, and then you can do your regular multiplayer options. So character is not very important for this one, it's just a test. Okay, I'm going to skip the intro because that's the same. Well, there are new hairstyles, but you can figure that bit out. There's some new hairstyles and a couple of new items to throw in. So in the new house, we have new rug, wallpaper. Uh, we have the ability to move our bed. So you can actually put that where you want. And I'm going to take this furniture with me just to show off something else. Okay, so outside we have, we can move the shipping bin now if we go and talk to Robin. It's the spouse area and we can put furniture out here and we can sit on it, which is very cool. It's the pet area and the teleporting shrine. So this area of the farm is all sandy, but we can plant on this. Sprinklers won't work on the sand, so you'll have to water them manually. Uh, but you can get the quality retaining fertilizer, which will make things useful. Okay, so down this side uh, is the south exit to go to the forest and Marnie's, uh, Marnie's ranch. That bit hasn't really changed. I like that the trees are kind of in the water. We can't walk on that bit though. Okay, so we've got our own private pier here. Good spot for fishing. And if you want, you can just sit, sit there and have a little picnic. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to take the chair with me. I'm going to leave my furniture out there. Okay, we've got a little pond. Some hardwood stumps. And I like this little feature. I mean, concerned it, he didn't have to add that bit. He could have just left it as a wall, but why not? It's just a nice little added extra. So we can't actually plant on these, but like the forest farm on the grassy areas, you can't plant there. Now this is more regular soil. The sprinklers will work. Um, by the looks of the size, you could probably get a fair few Iridium Sprinklers in there. My guess would be about six. Okay, we've got a lot of rocks to get rid of here. I like this little extra bit to get to the greenhouse, which we can also move now at Robin's. So you could put the greenhouse somewhere else and put like a, a coop there and have all your ducks. Grandpa's Shrine, that hasn't changed. Okay, we've got the cave and then the north exit to go to the uh, the mountain road. And then back to the main farmhouse. So there does seem to be quite a lot of space. I mean, if you cleared this away, there's actually quite a lot. Let's just zoom out a little bit. This is a big area. Would take quite a lot to clear that, but... How much how much crops you want to put there, I don't know, because that will take a lot of water in. Anyway, that's my first look at the beach house. Um, check out some more videos. I'll be making more with lots of... Um, new content for the new update. So in the meantime, bye for now.